chosen chord change is similar to the ones found in Softly as in a Morning Sunrise for this lesson because they provide us with the time and space to stretch out over the minor tonality while still providing us the opportunity to define and address the individual chords. This gives us a lot of harmonic choices, each with a somewhat different sound. Now the groove with the play along track is also an excellent platform for exploring a phrasing technique I refer to as topic phrasing. Now it's important with this tune or any tune that you're learning to be sure to check out some different recordings of the tune. So I suggest that you stop by YouTube and listen to a number of recordings of Softly as in a Morning Sunrise. You should have no problem finding some there. I've included the written changes, the exercises, the examples, everything transposed for tenor sax and alto sax in both the video and the written lesson. And you can find all of everything transposed for concert pitch instruments towards the end of the written lesson. Now if you'd like to locate a lead sheet for Softly as in a Morning Sunrise, you can find one in Hal Leonard's Real Book Volume 2. And I'd definitely suggest that you do that. Now, I've tried to make everything as easy to understand as possible, but I will reference some of my other lessons in case there are some topics that we cover in this lesson that you might like a little extra information on. Okay, so let's get started. First, let's make some fundamental observations about the chord changes. Since it's important to identify both the key and form of any tune you're learning, that's where we'll begin. By using the letters and double bars I've included in the chord progression, you should be able to quickly identify the form as A, A, B, A. Now, while the half diminished and dominant flat nine chords may appear to be a bit daunting, Notice that they keep coming back to D minor 7 for tenor or A minor 7 for alto in the A sections. Although the bridge takes a bit of a harmonic journey through the relative major key, we're still pretty safe in making the determination that the chord progression is in the key of D minor for tenor, A minor for alto,